Okay, so a lot of well-meaning liberals have been complaining lately that not enough kids want to go into the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics uh, fields. And um, recently a survey came out that actually backs up a lot of these concerns that basically the survey asked kids what are their most desired professions, what do they want to be when they grow up. Now it used to be kids would say, you know, doctor, lawyer, scientist, businessman, etc., entrepreneur, etc., etc. But now they say, you know, actor, singer, performer, reality star. And a lot of liberals have been pointing to shows like the Jersey Shore and they say, oh, that's why they want to be reality stars because all they see on TV is reality stars. And they say the solution to this is gigantic government investment, which is Latin for wasting money, on the sciences. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of commenters that are going to say, well, government research invented the Internet. Well, that's true. The government did invent the Internet as a system to launch nuclear weapons at the Soviets if they knocked out our communications. So, yeah, the government invented a system to kill people, and private industry invented the commercial Internet, which allows us to communicate, allows me to post this video online, and it made the world a better place. So... And now I know the next thing you're going to say is, well, the government invented GPS. I'm like, yeah, they did. They invented GPS so they could target and bomb people uh, more more efficiently. Again, they invented something to kill people. Um, private industry used GPS to figure out stupid people, figure uh, a way for stupid people to find their way to work and not get lost all the time. So, yeah, government can do things normally to kill people, and private industry does it better. It's a fact. Deal with it. And um, recently, a lot of people were going to say, uh, because this is in recent memory, that, um, you know, the government invented, they did the Mars rover. You know, the probe that landed on Mars, and honestly, it's a great accomplishment. Congratulations to NASA. But I think private industry could do that better, too. And um, this is where I get into my proof. So there's an organization called XPRIZE, and they offer cash prizes to people who innovate and build what they want. One of the um, XPRIZE competitions was for $10 million. I believe this was their biggest competition. And this $10 million prize was to launch three men into space. Now, this was successfully done by private industry. You know, groups of teams built and designed ships, and they launched themselves into space. And it actually made the prospects of commercial tr space travel um, a possibility. I mean, it was nowhere near. It was much more expensive when it's much more expensive when NASA does it. And they did this to win $10 million. So it seems like now that there's a future in commercial space travel. And um, there's a there's another example. XPRIZE um, offered a, a contest that, um, that gave $2.4 million to whoever could build a car who that got 100 miles to the gallon. Now, first the car had to pass a looks test. Then it had to meet all federal um, safety regulations. So a lot of teams were eliminated at that point. But the winning car... Um, I believe it got 102 miles to the gallon, and some of the components from that car are being used in, um, you know, Nissan, Chevy, they're being used by other car companies. So, it is possible to innovate from private industry. There's another example. The, after the BP oil spill, um, XPRIZE offered a little over a million dollars for somebody who could um, more efficiently scoop oil off of water. And, you know, I think seven teams uh, created systems that did more efficient work, and... Um, I'm pretty sure one of the teams was actually a group of like three or four guys that built the prototype in their pool and they met in a tattoo parlor. So there were no science and they weren't science people or anything. They were just, you know, they saw the contest and they wanted to compete for the prize and the glory. So this is what my proposal is. And it might be my greatest idea of all time. So everybody wants to be reality stars. We want people to go into the sciences. It's proven by XPRIZE that if you offer people money or a competition, that they will go into the sciences. And people who weren't, like, you know, the guys who met in the tattoo father, I believe the winner was an ex-Marine. And um, he, his uh, oil pump, by the way, that skims oil off the surface, is more than double, uh, skims more than double the oil that the current methods work. So it's proven that these contests work. And we can tell by the survey that kids want to be reality stars. So why don't we make these people the reality stars? You do a reality show, you call it American Innovators, you get, you know, rich people like Mark Cuban or even Al Gore. And the reason I say Al Gore is because for a very specific reason. Al Gore is concerned about global warming, so he says. So why doesn't Al Gore pitch the show or, you know, as one of the guests on one of the seasons of the show, 
ask people to find a way to reduce the carbon footprint. Now, they can build scrubbers that, you know, basically create an artificial photosynthesis that, you know, change carbon back into oxygen. They could create, you know, more fuel efficient cars, whatever, more, you know, alternative energies, you know, higher, higher energy producing solar panels because the solar panels we that we have now suck. They can produce something to destroy all the windmills because windmills are probably going to suck forever. But my point is, is this kind of innovation could work and the show could work. And the beauty of the show is that the investor that offers the prize, the Al Gore, the Mark Cuban, the fucking Bill Gates, the whoever, is going to make their money back based on the revenue from people viewing the show. So like I'm saying, you call it American Innovators. If you have a problem with kids wanting to be scientists, um, wanting to be reality stars, and you want them to be scientists, make the scientists the reality stars. American Innovators, cash prizes, basically you combine capitalism, you combine um, reality TV, and you combine science. And it's a win for all, and it's a win for society. And fuck it, I'd watch that. Since shows like MasterChef or Hell's Kitchen have come out, there have been record numbers of people enrolling into culinary schools. Believe me, if it's on TV, people will want to do it. 